What's going on, living in Middle Georgia family? I want to give a little real estate real talk video. I think I'm going to start doing one of this, you know, just once a month. Super relaxed, super chill, not sitting at my desk at home. I really haven't prepared a video at all, but I kind of want to talk about just the Middle Georgia real estate market when it comes down to it. Uh, we can go over home tour videos and market updates and pricing of homes and, you know, loans and all that kind of stuff. But really, when it comes down to moving to our area, w- what is it even like in our area? Because I don't know about you, I'm kind of stuck. Because if we ever move out of the middle Georgia area, there's just a lot of questions that I have about our local community. Um, or better words, the local community in which I would move to. Because what I like is different from what a lot of other people like. And when people ask me all the time, like, Luke, tell me about the area. What are your favorite things to do? How are the school systems? You know, what are the prices of the homes per square foot? What can I get for a blank amount of money? I can answer all those questions. But I think the real question comes down to, what do you want in a community? What do you want in a home? Where do you want to raise a family? Where do you want to build your life at? Because I, I don't know about you. I think those questions are way more important. You can have a beautiful home in a beautiful neighborhood. But if you don't like the community and it's not where you want to raise your family at, then what's the point of buying the house, right? Like, for example, me, I love to live in the mountains. But if I go move to the mountains, I don't know if that's going to fit our lifestyle, right? My wife's the youngest of six. We have a huge family down here in Georgia. If we go ahead and move somewhere, we're just going to fly back all the time. We have a beautiful environment to be able to live in, but never get to see family. You know, it doesn't doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. So really, this video, I just kind of want to talk about our local area and just to be able to give you a better fit of what this community is, what it's like, what it means to be a resident over here in middle Georgia. Hopefully I can help you out a little bit. Uh, but to tell you a little bit about my story, I grew up in Ohio. I got stationed in the Army over at Fort Benning. I think it's called Fort Moore now over in Columbus, Georgia. And my wife, born and raised in Warner Robins, and I moved over here after I got out of the Army. So been living here for about four years. This is my experience of living here. I made a huge mistake when I first moved here, right off the bat. Huge mistake, okay? I rented for like three years, so should not have done that. Uh, I should have used my VA home loan, got a zero down house, preferably a duplex, triplex, quadplex, uh, something like that, and I would have made a buttload of money. I could have house hacked is what they call when you use the VA home loan because I could have lived in it for two years, rented out another side, and then, bam, guess what? I made a bunch of money, but that was not the case. Uh, I paid ten twenty five in rent for a little tiny apartment, 707 square feet, and then we moved to a 1,407 square foot apartment, and that thing was about $1,400 a month. Uh, we ended up having a roommate, so that was nice, like 600 bucks a month for us then. And uh, six, $700, you know, you got water, you got all the other bills when it comes down to it. It was nice because we didn't have much to pay for. But what I failed to realize is I messed up and I didn't get any equity out of the house. I didn't get any appreciation. I didn't get anything. All I did was pay somebody a bunch of money to live somewhere. So, step number one, if I moved to middle Georgia, I would commit and buy a house. Now, I know there's uh, private mortgage insurance for those that aren't, you know, veterans, uh, anything under 20%. um, FHA loans a little bit different, conventional loans a little bit different. But at the end of the day, I know a house can be a liability if it's not an investment property, but you need to get properly educated on real estate. Uh, Most self-made millionaires, 95% or more, get to millionaire status through home ownership, through real estate. Next, because I know just willy-nilly buying a house in an area that you don't like is probably not the best idea. The area, middle Georgia, 86,000 people in Houston County. Now there's Peach County right next to us, which is where I live. I live like right on the edge of Peach County and Houston County. Houston County, typical cities, Warner Robins, Centerville, Bonaire, uh, Kathleen, Elko, and Perry. My probably my favorite county is a county, except for I found a nice little neighborhood over here in Byron, backs up to a peach orchard, almost an acre uh, per lot right off the interstate. So it worked perfect for me. Um, a lot of people ask me all the time about Macon. Macon's not a bad area. Really, just depends on what you're specifically looking for. 
So if I were to move to middle Georgia, for me personally, it really just depends on what you're looking for. If you want city life, if you want entertainment, if you want to go out on the weekends, I'd probably live somewhere near downtown Macon. There's some really nice home communities around there. Uh, Mercy University is a good university. I do not like the area around the university, though, so you got to be careful if you're going to go over there. Uh, if I have a family, I'm picking Houston County. The school systems are perfect and great. If I want to live a little bit out in the country and have some land, get a little bit of spacing, Peach County is going to be my my deal. Now, when it comes down to entertainment and stuff like that, we have to understand Middle Georgia It's not a big city. It's growing. Downtown Perry has a lot of cool stuff going on, uh, be able to hang out. But it's not metro. It's not party. It's not clubs. It's not any of that kind of stuff, uh, which I'm completely fine with. Uh, but at the end of the day, entertainment really comes down to outdoor activities, going out to eat. Pickleball is pretty huge in our local area. Come play pickleball with me, please. I have a tournament this Saturday and Sunday. Going to get after it. But outside of pickleball, you know, the thing is, there's really not a whole lot to do. Uh, But it is a nice central location because if we want to, let's say, for example, go to the beach, hop on I-75, go down to Florida. We can either hit the Gulf or hit the Gulf because I am not going to the Atlantic. Just just not worth it to me. I don't like it. Uh, My favorite is about five-hour drive away. Oh, beautiful car over there. Uh, About five hours away, uh, Clearwater. Definitely my number one pick. You can go to Panama City Beach, take you about three hours. You know, Destin's about three hours away. Savannah, you know, you just hop on the interstate, go east. You know, it's about a three-hour trip. Atlanta Airport, about an hour and 21 minutes away. About 10 hours away if you try to go during any hour except for 6 a.m. I hate Atlanta traffic. I'll never move there. I try to get away from Atlanta as much as I possibly can. But it's a nice central location because then you can drive up to the mountains. Uh, I love the mountains. Absolutely, North Georgia. I actually wish I lived there. However, I just, Middle Georgia is such an easy location to be at when it comes down to, you know, food, entertainment, grocery stores, our families here, driving to the beach, everything like that. It's just a perfect little community that works for us. And the cost of living still is pretty cheap. It's about $252,000 for a home in our local area when it's 369000 for the United States. I actually think the last statistics popped up, it was about $372,000. On average in the United States, average family in a local area makes about 88 grand a year. So as a collective whole as a family. Now with inflation and everything like that, obviously, you know, if you're watching this video, stuff gets expensive, you know. So do do with those numbers what you would like. Because don't move to an area thinking that you're living in California and then, uh, oh my goodness, my house is worth a million dollars here in California. I can get the same house for three fifty, and then move here, and then your pay gets cut by a third. Find a job before you move here. You got to be careful. You want to make sure that you make the right decisions. Now, talking about jobs here for a second. Robbins Air Force Base, USAjobs.gov, going to be your best bet when it comes to job hunting. Uh, aerospace, absolutely huge in this area. Uh, Bluebird, big company in our local area. Amazon has a pretty big manufacturing district. Oh, what else we got around here? We got uh, a lot of private companies working for the Air Force Base. Uh, Coding, computer science is huge. Finance is huge. Um, There's another big company that's coming here pretty soon. There are links and stuff in the description below so you can can find some stuff when it comes down to it. There are some, some big companies coming here. But I understand this too. Little Georgia, when it comes to paying stuff, don't get too too overly excited when it comes down to the cheap cost of living because you need to make sure that you're making enough to make that cost of living worth it now i think today is january february march april april 19th or april 20th check out this weather i'm sweating out here i'm wearing shorts and t-shirt it's like 84 degrees hardly any clouds in the sky it's our weather down here you know you guys up north can can keep your snow and keep everything else like that i I ran away from that stuff. Um, But you know, when it comes down to it, comment below. Ask me any questions you'd like to know about living in this area. If you need help buying or selling a house, hit me up. We got your back. If you just want to have a conversation, I'm not salesy. I don't think I can help you. I'm not going to help you. If you don't want me to help you, I'll respect that. But if you need some help, I'd love to help you. 
But that's just a little bit about what goes on in this local area. I'm going to post a video up here real quick on a video of how to buy a house. Because if you'd like to buy a house, that video will teach you how to buy a house. But if you have questions, shoot me a text. Got your back. I'm going to do a little real estate real talk video and see how this goes. Maybe we post it, maybe we don't. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out.